or something interesting. We have to find out the right time frame. In an era of digital deception, scientists at Indiana University are using Twitter to investigate the nature of truth, lies, and politics. The research program deals with how uh, social media shape political communication. And the more basic question is how ideas and information spread between people when they interact using technology. They're working on ways to detect and defuse Twitter misinformation campaigns. They call it the Truthy Project. Every day their computers at Indiana's Center for Complex Networks and System Research scan millions of Twitter messages, looking for the line between free speech and fraud. So far, they've found dozens of cases in which activists orchestrated networks of dummy Twitter accounts to sway voters or influence pending legislation. We have the impression that we've just scratched uh, the surface, the tip of the iceberg, uh, because as soon as we started looking, even before we knew that there was much of this going on, we found lots of examples. Sometimes, Prolific political tweeters are really automated computer programs designed to mimic human behavior. And these Twitter tactics are cheap, since user accounts are free and can potentially reach many more people than traditional attack ads. It's known as astroturfing, a fake grassroots political campaign. There is a lot of money around politics and a lot of influence uh, that we've seen spent through TV campaigns, for example, and compared to that, an AstroTurf campaign is very, very, very cheap. All you need is uh, just an operative or a volunteer, with or without the consent of the people that they are trying to promote, who just sits down, creates a bunch of fake accounts, and with a little bit of very simple scripts, they can be up and running in, in minutes or in a few hours, and in some cases they might get lucky. And, and create quite, uh, quite, a, quite a, an amount of attention. A single tweet topic can explode as others retweet it to friends who relay it in turn to friends of theirs. In one case, the Truthy Project uncovered a pair of accounts that, mimicking the chatter of two politically active women, sent out more than 20,000 messages promoting congressional candidates echoing each other's messages to create the illusion of a conversation and a groundswell of grassroots support. The system noticed that there was this pattern in which two accounts were constantly retweeting each other. And uh, one account was uh, producing lots of content, mostly supporting and promoting one particular candidate or a small group of candidates. The other account just retweeted everything that this one account posted. And then they retweeted each other. And so we had these two nodes with a huge connection between them, representing thousands and thousands of messages exchanged between these two accounts. And when we looked, all these messages were the same, or were the same kind of message. So that these messages contributed to give the appearance that there was a huge amount of chatter around this candidate. And in fact, it was all fake, automatically generated by scripts. And when we uh, posted about it, Twitter almost immediately shut down those accounts. Unchecked, these torrents of texts can drive a Twitter topic higher in web search engine rankings, where it can attract broader media attention. By studying Twitter, the researchers are hoping to learn more about how ideas spread and how people use the messaging service to influence each other. When people communicate online, they create trace data. And we can look at this to understand how they're communicating with each other about politics and what that means for democracy. The Indiana scientists are worried, though, that these digital deceptions that they've discovered undercut the trust that holds our society together. A well-functioning democracy requires accountability and trust. And if we are in a situation where as a result of technology, we have eroded our trust in the, the validity or verifiability of the information we're receiving. That's a very dangerous situation because democracy requires trust. By its terms of service, 
Twitter company rules forbid spam and efforts to mislead, confuse, or deceive people. And routinely, the company takes down accounts its logarithms have determined are fake. But this sort of organized deception may be evolving faster than the company's security measures can control them. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm science writer Robert Lee Hotz.